Good morning from beautiful Lang Sang Beach here in Chantanaburi, Thailand. Today is day three of the East Coast Thailand motorbike tour and it is time for us to leave this little sleepy town and continue the journey. In the prior video, I mentioned how quiet Rayong was. Well, Rayong has nothing on Lam Sing Beach. I mean, this is one of the main roads with all of the hotels here, and it was completely deserted yesterday. This is literally the main street. Uh, the market is closed. There's a 7-Eleven here. There's obviously another 7-Eleven across the street, a big C Mini, but there's no people. And the beach was just as empty. I mean, it was so quiet. I just took a walk along the beach, grabbed myself a nice little dinner with some sea bass and some mixed seafood. It was quite delicious, but literally, guys, there is nothing to do here. Everything shuts down at night, but still, really enjoyed myself. Okay, so the plan today is to go down towards Cambodia border. I'm not going to be crossing into Cambodia, but we're going to go into Trat because, well, right now we're in Chantanaburi. Check out some things there and then just go to the border and then probably find some other stuff to see along the way. I have no idea. We'll explore today. It'll be a fun, low-key day. All right, I think we've arrived at our first destination, if I can find it. I think it's over here somewhere. Uh, maybe not. Anyways, I'm looking for something called the bridge to test your willingness. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, that is, that is a very interesting bridge. All right, let's take a quick look at this thing. Looks like a little fishing village that I've stumbled into here. These guys are getting ready to go out and go fishing, but I want to go check out this bridge. Um, looked interesting in the photos. Not sure why it's called the bridge to test your willingness. Definitely very steep. Look at that thing. All right, let's, uh, let's go climb up and see what it looks like from the top. Very strange shaped bridge. It's obviously pitched this high so all the fishing boats can come through here. But I don't think I've ever seen a bridge like this before. That's why I wanted to come check it out because on the map it just looked very unique. Got a really nice view of all the fishing boats down there and the rest of this little village. This is quite a picturesque little point. Nothing fantastic, but definitely worth a stop. Somebody's got some fish they've laid out to dry over here. Oh man, this looks really delicious. Look at all of the stuff that they've got over here. Lots of colorful little fishing boats here and you can see all the men are working, getting ready to go out fishing. Or maybe they've already come back as it's 11 a.m. It's a cool little place. If it's on your way, stop, check it out. Very unique bridge. I think my next stop is gonna be this waterfall. I wanna see some water, maybe take a swim if I can. But uh, maybe before I get there, I need to get some food in me. It's uh, 11.30. I haven't eaten anything yet, and I'm just dragging today. So, yeah, going a little slow mentally, probably physically also. Gonna go grab some food somewhere on the way. I know some of you might not agree with my culinary decision. However, I'm going to be going into Lotus to get something to eat. I'm not feeling very good. I'm a little off and just need some air conditioning. So we're gonna go in here and I think just grab some Kentucky Fried Chicken for a quick little meal before I continue on things don't always go according to plan. After having lunch, still not feeling well, so I decided to just stay in Trat and book myself a night at the Hotel Toscana Trat. It's one of only three hotels in the city of Trat that has a swimming pool, and it's quite nice. I'm really happy with this. Let me just show you the room really quick. Over here, I got myself a nice room right next to the pool. It's not very big, but it's got all you need. Obviously, shower, toilet, refrigerator, king-size bed, an area for me to work, and there's a night market nearby that I will go and check out if I'm feeling better a little bit later. But I think I'm just gonna rest. And this was only 950 baht, which is $27 US. Much cheaper than it was on Agoda, so sometimes it makes sense to just go and stop. Okay guys, I'm gonna take a swim and we're gonna continue this video in a minute. Oh man. I just found out that everything I had recorded this morning did not record because the audio on my wireless mic was not working. One of those days. Well, these things happen. The microphone didn't work and everything I recorded on the way here this morning didn't work. Anyways, what I was trying to say was that I just didn't feel good last night. Yesterday I came into Trat and I just didn't feel good. So after eating, 
I checked myself into a hotel and just took a swim and then slept for a couple of hours. In the evening, there was a cool little night market where I went, grabbed some food, walked around a little bit, and then just came back to my hotel room and did some editing. Today, we started this voyage yet again to continue what I started out to do yesterday. And right now we're at Safenhan Waterfall. And it's not very far. We'll go check it out, see what else is going on here. The city of Trat really didn't have a whole lot to offer. Very quiet city, but it was great. Like I said, I was happy with the hotel I found. One of three in the city with a pool. Had a great night's sleep, and I might actually come back and stay there tonight because tomorrow we are going to go to Ko Chang and spend almost a whole week on that island and then possibly go to Ko Kut as well. So right now, I'm just kind of walking through the forest, listening to all the crickets and looking for the actual waterfall. The route to this waterfall is definitely not clearly marked, so hope I'm going the right way. Yeah, it's a little walk, a little exercise today. Just got to watch my step. There's some arrows and signs here and there, but they're all in Thai. Whoa. Yeah, I'm going to focus on walking instead of recording so I don't crack my head open. More stairs, another leg day. Now these look really interesting. Definitely kind of a spooky little climb. Whoa, got to use this rope. The sound of the water falling is getting louder and louder, so we must be near. Oh, there it is. Let's go take a look. Oh yeah, this was definitely worth the hike over here. About 10 minutes and it was very rocky, but look at this. This is really gorgeous, very peaceful. There's a nice mist that's blowing from the waterfall. That is just magnificent. I'm always astounded by waterfalls and just nature in general. It's just such sheer beauty. Never disappointed when I go to see things like this. Even if they're not grandiose, it's still a trek and it's still something new to explore. And while I'm walking back to my motorbike, I would like to ask you guys for your support. My channel is completely self-funded. I'm not asking anyone ever to donate, but the best way you can support me is by sharing and liking my videos. And if you enjoy this channel, go ahead and subscribe if you like watching these kind of videos. Those are the ways you can support me that will greatly help YouTube spread my videos to other people and help me grow my channel. Thanks as always, guys. Hello, sir. Yeah. Middle of the road, it's a great way to stand. I don't know why these dogs love standing in the middle of the road. I mean, everywhere. I guess they don't care and people go around them so they're used to it. I'm still not used to seeing that. And it's definitely a bit of a danger when you come around a corner and you got some dogs sleeping in the middle of a road. I kind of wanted to stop here. Yes, this is the narrowest part of Thailand, the narrowest section of land as Cambodia is only about 200 meters to the left, it's a very thin sliver. And I think we're only about 10 minutes from the Cambodian border. But, ah, just kind of interesting. I've been to the highest part of Thailand, so I thought it would be interesting to stop here at the narrowest part of Thailand just to take a picture and just say that I came here. That was utterly exciting. Okay, we're only about eight minutes from the Cambodian border. I just want to go there just so I can say I've done it, take a look, and I've got to find some lunch. It's noon. I am hungry. Should be a good restaurant here. Definitely stop and uh, grab a bite to eat. Oh, 7 Eleven. Awesome. Okay. There is the border to Cambodia right there. And this is as far as we go. You're gonna turn around. We'll do the Cambodia trip on its own one day by itself. All right, now I gotta find some food. So there's the border behind me, but check this out. The Thai police has a BMW 330e police car. That's pretty cool. They've got a nice police car over here. This is a tiny little community here just bustling with business because all the tourists coming through, passing from one side to the other. Now, we gotta find a restaurant, grab something to eat. This is perfect. I've got a 7-Eleven here for drinks and everything else. And right across the street is just a simple little restaurant, good enough for me to go and eat. I know you're gonna be shocked, but I got Pad Krapau Guy again with two eggs. Just keeping it simple. Gonna enjoy this meal, and then we'll keep rolling. 
another great little lunch that uh, Pat Krapow guy, along with the two small Coke Zeros, came out to be 90 baht, which is about two and a half dollars. We are at a border town, so things are a little bit more expensive. And if you're asking me, why did I come here? Uh, because it was here. I wanted to see the narrowest part and I wanted to see the border, so I got something to check out. Now it's time for me to head back to Tra, find myself a hotel because tomorrow we are going to Ko Chang. Guys, check out some of my other videos. Please make sure you take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon in another one of my videos.